Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So uh, I just want to put out a little update here. Um, I want uh, my subscribers to know that uh, I've not given up shop stuff or anything like that, but I do have uh, uh, some work in the basement that I need to do and, and I need to continue on it. So uh, I'll probably be on this here for the next couple weeks. So you won't see any shop related videos uh, for a couple weeks. But I did ask a while back, uh, you know, when I mentioned that I'm going to have to get in here and do this, would anybody be interested in seeing any of it? Any of it? And uh, surprisingly, there were quite a few people said, yeah, I kind of like to see what, what you're doing. So I want to give you a quick tour of, uh, of what I'm doing uh, in my basement and, uh, uh, and kind of go from there. And then rather than, you know, a bunch of how-to kind of videos or stuff, I'll just bring you in as I get some stuff done just so that you can see updates or and and then if you want more or less or something um you know post in the comments below and and we'll do more or less so uh, you let me know all right so uh let me uh, show you what i got going on and give you a little background and we'll get going okay if you guys have uh, watched uh, some of my earlier videos th those uh french doors there will probably look familiar uh you would see those as i was running the lathe and i had uh, had run the lathe uh, down here for for quite some time before i moved it out to the shop now when my wife and i got married um, we we're a blended family i had three children and she had two and uh, this was back when the uh, real estate market was still through the roof uh, before the collapse and so we had to make a decision do we use what we have or do we buy something else so what we decided to do is use what we have so what you're looking into as part of a two-car garage i uh Pulled the uh, garage doors out, and I had to build up the floor. Let me pan down here. Um, you'll see there's a concrete floor and a wooden floor. Well, the, the where the wooden floor is, that was an inch and a half lower than uh, the concrete. So I built it up, insulated the floor, and framed a couple rooms in there. Cut a hole in the wall, put in uh, some French doors um, so that uh, had easy access. So now, um, we live like that for a long time, and, and the part of the basement that I'm standing out was finished. And then, uh, but we mostly just used it for storage. Stuff just piled down here. Well, one day my wife comes upstairs and she says, hey, there's uh, black stuff growing from the bottom corners of the, of the uh, basement walls. And so uh, I come down and look, and sure enough, it looked like black mold. And, and uh, what I discovered was, as I pulled the paneling off, um, the uh, concrete block was given a vapor barrier, which you see there, which is getting, is getting a refresh now. And they put plastic uh, on the uh, front side of the uh, insulation. So, you know, they, they created a space there that water couldn't escape. So over time, the water would condensate toward the plastic run down the wall and, and slowly just mold. So I want to pan you over and hopefully I don't make you sick, but I'll let you see over here. You see you got piles and piles of junk over here, but you see like over there in the corner, you see that black, that's uh, more mold that I need to scrub out. Okay, but I got to do a section at a time. Um, it's simply to keep my sanity and there's just a bunch of junk that in the way. There's always junk in the way. That's the story of my life. All right, so um, I had a couple things that I had to contend with, and hopefully I'm not making you guys too dizzy here. But originally, where you see this black gas pipe coming down, uh, there used to be a flue that ran through the wall and a chimney up the side of the house. Well, the chimney was an afterthought, I guess, because it, it wasn't bricked into the regular brick of the house, right? It was there and cemented to and strapped to the house, right? And uh, then somewhere along the line, somebody knocked the top of the chimney off and roofed over it. So now you got something you just can't use. So that uh, I took out the chimney when I rebuilt my deck and then the flue still stuck through the wall. So I pulled it out and I, I bricked that up or blocked that back up so that I have a normal block wall there. And then if uh, you followed uh, Instagram, you may have seen some of that. And then where you see the gas pipe going through, there used to be a whole conglomeration of fittings right there all over the place and the pipe ran on down toward those French doors that I just showed you. So I've uh, pulled that stuff out and cleaned it up. So I got a gas line that runs outside, a natural gas line to feed my barbecue uh, grill. And then I've left 
some stubbed here down the wall are uh, for a, uh, a ventless gas fireplace that I, I hope to put in here someday. So that's that's why that's there, and then uh, you know wherever I decide to put the fireplace, I'll have to stub it out and, and whatnot. So what I've been working on is uh, freshen, you know, uh, bleaching these walls, you know, killing killing the mold, and then uh, you know getting a new coat of uh, dry lock on there, and then next I will come up here and I'll put some uh, R38 insulation on the banding so that uh, the banding is insulated. So uh, my intention uh, for this first part of this project is that uh, I will put a wall let's see here I'll put a wall um, you see where the floor divide is about four foot to the right and coming this way to create a hallway and I'm going to put an office right where you see this dehumidifier okay because uh, uh, so this is the important part to get done is the office uh, because uh, my daughter uh, and her husband are coming back home from uh, Maryland. Um, he was in the Air Force. Uh, uh, his hitch is up and they want to come back home and they want somewhere to stay while they're uh, looking for a place of their own and, and employment and that sort of stuff. So that's what I'm working on and when I get a little bit more done I'll, I'll come back and show you. So um, let me come in and I'll finish this up. So I know that was kind of a quick uh, rundown or run through. Uh, I think what I'll try to do is take a screenshot of uh, my plans for this basement when I when I'm done, and and I'll post it here at the uh, end of the video, and and then uh, you know over time we'll see how close we can get. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but the end result will be I'll have a uh, um, a wet bar and a kind of a little entertainment area over here, a place to watch TV and that sort of thing. I'll have an office, two bedrooms on the end, a full bath and a laundry room. So that's that's uh, what I'm looking to get here and, and we'll see how far we go. So anyway, uh, guys, I appreciate it. I just wanted to put something out there. You know, I just didn't want you to think I fell off the earth. Um, I will get back out in the shop as, as soon as I can, uh, but I've taken a couple weeks off of work. I'm gonna try to knock out at least this wall, it's 37 feet. Um, get the banding up and uh, get the office area framed out. So that's that's what I want to try to get done in, in these two weeks. And if I can get more done, uh, I'll get more done. So uh, I'll post uh, occasional little update videos, uh, you know, maybe every every three or four days or whatever, you know, uh, whatever you guys are interested, just let me know. And if you don't want to see it at all, just say, hey, I really don't want to see that crap. I'll just wait for you to come back uh, to the shop. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you for your patronage. Thanks for watching my videos. I, I, I can't believe there's 1,100 people out there that watch my stuff. Um, but I am uh, I have a very heartfelt thank you for that and uh, and gracious. So uh, if these uh, things entertain you uh, or if you find them useful, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing. If you got any questions, please uh, put it down there in the uh, in the comments, or you can go to my website myheap.com and click on the contact button and send me an email. Or if you click the about link here on my YouTube channel, you can get my email address there too if you want to email me. So other than that, have a blessed day.